Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Resident Evil. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Mysterious bag of chemicals. We shall take it with us. Upstairs. Open up door. Ah, no, Chris. Up the stairs. Atta boy. Come on, it's not that scary up there. I mean, really, what do we got up here? Just a zombie or two. Here's a picture. 22 bullets. That's... It's actually pretty good, really. For now. So long, sir! Don't really wish to play with you. I want to come over this way. Book! Little light reading! Medical herbs, huh? Let's see. Many plants have medicinal effects. Humans have been using them since ancient times. Ah, the herbs, the herbs that grow in the raccoon mountains. That sounds applicable. Uh, examples of those plants with medicinal properties. Different colors. Green recovers strength. In other words, green heals you. Blue neutralizes toxins. Antidote herbs. And the red herb does nothing by itself. Must be mixed with other herbs. Namely, the green herb. When a red herb is mixed with a green herb, it triples it triples the effect of the green herb, thus making it a full heal. And if you throw and if you if and if you throw a blue herb in, into the red and green mix, then you basically end up with a can of first aid spray that doesn't detract from your score. Yeah, sure. We'll leave, leave it to us to learn the details. Yeah, they basically already gave them to us. The only other mix of herbs that that uh, didn't get covered is is combining blue and green herbs, which just it compresses space, and then combining multiple green herbs, which also functionally compresses space. Keep in mind that once you've combined herbs, you can't uh, pull them apart again. Pardon me, sir. We'll dodge those guys, because we don't really have the ammunition to play with. Now, I have other plans for them, but uh, that will come later. Going down. Alrighty. Clock. Very loud clock. Oh good, Rebecca's still practicing. We'll leave her to continue practicing. Because we have other things to deal with. Right down this hallway. Aha! Door! Well, that doesn't look pleasant. Oh! I'll have to do something about that. Hmm. Water gets sent from here. Aha! Take that, tentacle monsters! Now, as you might be able to guess, if you tried to uh, push your way past 
past those uh, vines, which is doable, they swing at you, hurt you, and just in general impede your progress. Yes, I will take this. In fact, we shall chew on it. Nom nom nom. There are a lot of theories as to how exactly these herbs get used. In some cases, they're apparently applied to bandages, and they're put onto bandages, and then those are applied to wounds, or things of that nature. Other claims have been that you, that you actually need to chew on them, you know, like actual medicinal marijuana. Fun fact about medicinal... Fun fact about marijuana, its best medicinal effects are taken from consuming in the plants, not smoking them. But, most importantly, we want this key. So check it out, because I like my keys being clearly labeled. Aha! Armor! And there's one more green herb there, but... Oh, I don't have enough pocket space to pick it up. So we shall leave it be. But, with this armor key, I know of a door we can go into. It's right over here. Aha! Fact! This is an important door to go into. See that shotgun over there? Yeah, we'll want that. But first, let's make use of a key. Shells! Thank you. Take this clip. And, well, I'll come back for the shotgun. We want you. You look a little busted. But no matter. We'll want it all the same. But first we need to play more inventory Tetris. Run along the wall! Woohoo! So long, boys! Okay, what we got here? Not gonna need this for a while. Don't need that for a while. And that will do. Bit of a short, bit of a short uh, video, but, well, we're ready to move on next time. We'll see you then. Later.